Yeah, sensor cleaning can be scary and I hope you watched my video uh, sensor cleaning for the Sony Alpha cameras the easy way where I taught you how to do easy way of cleaning the sensor without the swabs. But in this video, my dear friends, let's just do it. Let's do a proper cleaning and I promise you it is not that scary and not so damaging for your camera as you might imagine or as someone might have told you. So I'll show you how to do it real quick. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is before you actually even start, you want to check how dirty your sensor is, if you need a cleaning and where you should focus more or less uh, and where to pay attention. So how to do it? First of all, just simply uh, put your camera in manual focus. Then you want to focus to infinity, set your ISO to 100. And then very important to put the f-stop to the maximum value. And also make sure you are uh, switched to manual mode. After that, just adjust the aperture so that you actually can see something in a picture. It's not too overexposed and it's not too dark. So you actually can see the spots on the sensor. Um, find a clean white surface to shoot against and then simply just take the picture. And after that, you can zoom in and you can clearly see for my Sony a6000, you can clearly see here on the left side the, uh, the, the sensor. I haven't cleaned it for so long. so. This definitely needs a cleaning. And this picture will um, guide you and this picture will serve you as a, as, as a good uh, benchmark. And then after you clean it, you can compare and see if you got rid of all of those spots. So first thing I would mention uh, regarding the setup, there doesn't need to be a crazy setup. Just have a proper light, either the window light or uh, an artificial light. Just make sure that you see what you're doing. Close your windows, close your doors so there is no wind coming around. Definitely don't vacuum the house right before or during uh, because the dust is simply going to fly around. Also, uh, it's optional. You can wear the gloves. Uh, best thing you can do is wash your hands, make sure they're not sticky and with, not with, with some dirt on it, and clean your table as well. Uh, and then you can go ahead with the cleaning. Then the third thing what you need to do is you need to use two swabs. So one swab is going to be wet and the other one is going to be uh, dry. So basically just take your uh, fluid that comes with your cleaning kit and put one drop is enough for one swab. Don't put uh, too much of the, the liquid, otherwise the sensor is going to be too wet and then you, have, uh, you can have the stains. So put one drop uh, and simply from one side to the other, um, gently but firmly, don't be afraid to break the sand. You can't really break it. It's, I mean, obviously don't put all your force there is, but also don't be a chicken and, and just like a feather, you know, going over it. Be, be gentle, but be firm because these uh, uh, sensors um, swabs are quite elastic and they're quite soft. So they can't really damage uh, the sensor if you don't do anything crazy. After, you, after you're done with the wet swab, you can throw it away. You're not gonna use it anymore and then take the dry one and do the same exact thing. Just cleaning all that extra wetness off of the sensor gently going from one side to the other. Do it twice if you need to. Uh, you can turn the swab the other way around as well and then uh, simply make sure that there is no, uh, nothing left on the sensor anymore. After that, you can put the cap on or you can put the lens on or uh, best thing you to do is Mm, actually take another test shot and compare if you got rid of all of the uh, sensor spots. Simple as that. Repeat if needed. Uh, if you didn't get rid of them, just do the process over and over again. And regarding the, the, the kits, um, there's just one thing to know. Uh, make sure that you actually get the one that has uh, that is made specifically for uh, your sensor because there are the ones for APS-Cs and then there's the ones for the full frame. Brand doesn't matter in my opinion. Uh, just make sure that the reviews are good, people are happy about them and check the price and just buy one whichever uh, suits you and is available in your country as well. That's it. Simple as that. Just remember, chill, be relaxed. Don't worry about it too much. It's not like you're going to break it or anything. Be gentle, but be firm and relax and chill. That's it for me in today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos I'm making as well. Tom Sirix here and I will see you all in the next video very soon. Bye.